Well, in today's episode, we are stripping down the JZX to continue the rebuild. We've already started, we've got the side skirt off. I am gonna replace them, I think. Well, I can replace them. I'll see if they're bad enough. The front guards definitely need replacing, as you can see. It's got the dreaded uh, fiberglass cracks. All right, so she's stripped off. I took that door off because I'm actually going to pull all these uh, little bolts out, glue this set down and bog them holes over so that it matches this one. So now I've got to get down or get out all the spare, the new stuff which is uh, in the just corner where all the junk gets put. This episode I reckon is just going to be a whole bunch of little clips because I'm not getting huge amounts of time to come in the shed but what I've done is glued this one down and I just started bogging up the holes. I'm just patching up a hole where the wheel had wore through. Uh, I've already done, already done that side, patched it up. And I am working out how to mount this. So I just made these little templates here so that I could uh, trace out, you know, where I actually have metal underneath. And I've got a few options. So I've got these style uh, pins, or I've got these smaller ones, uh, press lock ones, like what I've used on the doors, but that's the bigger version. So I think I put two back there on a bit of an angle like this, because the pins are going to sit straight up and down. So we've got it in, but you see how it's not sitting. It's not sitting straight, it's on an angle. So I'll see how it goes. I cut bare minimum out of that. So see if it fits. Probably won't. All right, that's nearly perfect now. All right, so they're both in. I want to drop these tiny little pins down into this this gap here. So it's going to be hard to work out where to put the holes in that. So what I did is I just got a bit of tape, tiny little hole them out of the way, they're both in the same spot, then I set this in, flip them back over and that'll be where the holes need to go. They are in, obviously I can put the trim back, now I've got to do the holes for these. I've got a big drill bit that's very close and I can dive right on the rest because I don't have a hole saw bit that is the right size for uh, the little clips but I'll drill them out and hopefully it all lines up. Right, it's got them. Welcome back to a, another episode of the JZX Rebuild. This might even be part way through because uh, I did start this weeks and weeks ago. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you know this thing sort of took priority. Uh, if you missed Big Skinner driving that thing, flip back to a few of the older videos, you'll see him absolutely shredding it. But it's the Christmas break, Christmas holidays, we're in the shed. And we're putting on all the new panels for the JZX. As you can see, I got the front guard fitted up and the side skirt. I'm getting these fitting mint. Like, look at the fitment of this. Absolutely proper. And even on the back as well. Look at that. But. <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to get blown off the first few laps. It's always the risk with this stuff. Um, so obviously I'll finish this side, but I will do a little time lapse on the other side so you can see uh, how that process goes. All right, it's on. Is it perfect fitment? Absolutely not. Could I get it better? Yes, I could. Is it a show car? Absolutely not. So we will leave it at, at that. Now time for the side skirt. Now I know there's a lot of people that rag on and say that you know fog glass fits crap and you have to modify it and blah blah blah. I'm not an expert but I've done a few molds now and uh, that's just how it works. <laughs> it's never going to be perfect, it moves, it changes in the molds, it's always going to take modifying to fit and one thing that a lot of people don't know is you can actually heat fiberglass up and bend it. If you heat it enough 
and you have to heat it a lot. Like, I, the, when I learnt this, the guy that told me said, heat it until you can smell it, until you can smell it sort of melting. Then it's very pliable. So, I did it on the other side. I'll do it here as well. So you can see here, there's a massive gap there. And if I push that over, it's gonna break it. But I will heat all this up, and I'll be able to bend that round and get a screw into it. See how it's real bendy now, whereas before, it wasn't at all. Before, uh, you could hear it almost cracking if you tried to do that. Let's get it nice and hot. Now I'm gonna put a little self-tapper up in here. And look at that, like you can really work it. So what I might do is put a clamp here. Now, as you can see, it's heaps closer in there. I probably should work on something else, but I really want to fit these fit these up. So I'm gonna work out where they need to sit roughly. So these are like a universal flare. They're not actually made for a JZX or anything like that. So it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error. I finally used these. Um, these are Clecos. I've never actually used them. I got given given them for a birthday present, like years and years ago. So I'm gonna hold. Use them to hold it in place. Right, that's what it looks like. The trick will be getting the other side to look similar. Car's looking like a car. I'm gonna call it there for tonight. I think I help with the kids and come back out either later tonight or tomorrow. So I'll see you there.